Well, there's only one thing to do when you find yourself lost in a forest and surrounded by the glowing carapaces of some creatures easily a lot taller than you who have gone ahead and spun their webs and spread their eggs all over the forest around you. And in the opinion of Palme Zior, our leader, that thing is to dive forward and smack him. Ooh, she did really good. She did good. good, 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 good. Oh my gosh! And Wolf Call, I forgot. Oh my gosh, I forgot about Wolf Call. So every time she has a successful kill, all of her allies will actually have two bonus movement. <gasps> that is so strong. I love that. That's like her calling them into the battle. I think that would really inspire Eviana. So we're gonna have her jump forward, and she's going to. Maybe wait just a moment as Jonah, not to be shown up, is going to send down another font of infernal rain upon this dweaver first, transforming the water from this uh, long abandoned fountain into scalding acid. Uh, thankfully, all of it missing Eviana. Uh, but that broke the dweaver's armor, which is a very good thing, because now Eviana probably yelling a little bit in surprise of, you know, almost having the scalding acid rain burn her. I could see a rivalry building with Jonah, potentially. Now she can smack it with her pickaxe, <laughs> which will leave it open to Rowan to actually be able to dive over there. Let's see. And I don't think he needs to worry about dodging just yet. And his arrow struck true. And now we have only the, oh, the thrust. Okay, the thrust can be a big problem because they actually get to hit twice. However... <laughs> Yeah, Palme wasn't going to deal with that. Oh, look at that. That took like no time at all. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, you're kidding. A tier two wand. <gasps> okay. Considering the fact that Jonah was very, very put out at having to go ahead and clear out the foes from this land because it obviously didn't have any spell threads or any kind of mystical items. I think that she's going to have to give a point to Palme's insistence so that they helped the people of this this county, this village, uh, clear out the Thixel from their woods because a tier two wand? <laughs> That's fantastic! Oh my gosh, an astral cherry rod after we just fought against creatures rumored to come from the stars? Yeah, yeah, it definitely has a little bit of their energy in it, if you ask me. And uh, yeah, yeah, that's gonna do a lot more damage then, well, it's going to do a lot more damage than literally using a wooden spoon. <laughs> yeah, I think Jonah is very happy and she might be a little bit more behaved with sticking with the group and trusting that perhaps there might be something good hiding in the loot from when they go ahead and help the villages out. Once again, the night air belongs to the song of ordinary creatures. Everyone still here? I hate a night battle kept knocking into trees. Rowan and Eviana recount what they saw, a colossus striding silently through the silver fog. The others never saw more than great banks of mist separating them. I think Jonah might not want to believe them. And I think Palme, as long as it didn't affect the villagers, I don't think she would... She acknowledges there are greater things than even she can brandish a sword at right now. And her priority is to make sure that her party and her, like, duty to protect the villagers are followed through. They make a further search for sign of the giant's passing, but are forced to camp, precious hours from sunrise, having found nothing. Other than the seed that Rowan did indeed put in his pocket. Aha! Uh -huh. Later, you're an enigma, little seed. Rowan plants it on a sun-blessed hillside in a bed of soft earth. Who knows what will sprout? <laughs> That's so fun! Oh my goodness, I can't wait to see. I, I don't know if I've ever seen what happens if that seed grows, so the centuries of age will have a new bit of lore to add into their stories. 
And uh, also, our enemies now get stronger. After every fight, your enemies do become stronger, and sometimes you can cancel that by spending your legacy points. You earn legacy points for doing very heroic things, or retiring characters, or building them a shrine when they die after being ripped apart by enemies. Not like I've had that happen very recently. <clears throat> and, well, that's not good. <laughs> I still don't know who the main enemy is going to be, but these cards that they gain will go ahead and make them stronger. It's worth it to think about not using our legacy points for better gear or recruiting people, and at times using them to prevent the enemies from becoming stronger, because now, you remember that double-headed thrusk? Yeah, it, it, it has 25% more health, and it hits twice. That could be a problem. But for now, we're going to go ahead and help to secure Arten Windworks, which is the village in the Pine Forest that has been located here. The villagers have been scattered, but by securing the area, we might be able to find something in the ruins, and we will help them to establish this village. Um, and I guess we'll call these counties, because, you know, there's a lot of them. But, or, let's see. Yeah, this countryside, or like, this, this county works. And once we secure this county, you can see the symbols over here. These mean that we will be able to get two fabric and one hide, which are items that we use to craft important new gear, including legendary gear that we might even be lucky enough to have blessed by one of the little elementals that roam the world. And we want lots and lots of that. <laughs> if push comes to shove, attempting to prioritize places that have a lot of the resources that we need, like spell thread that Jonah was really more interested in before she had a powerful wand, <laughs> is very important. Um, and maybe we'll be able to craft something when we go back through Ashra, or Ashra Bridge. So, all right, let's go ahead and secure this spot. Uh, they'll be great. They'll be, they'll forever be grateful for the work we do. So this site can provide resources now and at the end of each chapter. Spend resources to upgrade hero weapons and armor. So we can investigate thoroughly and catalog everything which will allow us to find an item. Or if there are calamities approaching due to the dangers of this world. And we can perhaps see that if we do not act quickly, one of the surrounding villages will be attacked, raided, and even destroyed, leaving the dead in their wake. Then we might want to work fast instead and go prevent the calamity. There being no calamity right now, and a very curious Jonah searching for more loot, we're going to go ahead and investigate thoroughly. Also, this will allow Pame, who has 5 out of 8 health, to get a little bit of rest, so you can see her start recovering just a wee bit. There we go! Now she's at full health again. A thorough delving through the mysteries of Art and Windworks has proven rewarding. Perhaps one day, they'll tell all sh our story in this very spot. Art and Ruin Works will return to the hands of the common folk. While they tend it, the site will provide resources at the end of each chapter. Also, that's while they tend it. Could they be destroyed by an incursion of enemies? Yes. Yes, they can. <laughs> Hopefully we can keep them safe. But for now, they have given us one hide, two fabric. Very useful. Ooh, and we found the Alwise Ring, which increases our potency. Interesting. I think that would actually be good for Jonah again, because I think potency has to do with her magic abilities. So I'm going to go ahead and give that to her, because I'm going to say that maybe she snuck that. Maybe she found no reason to tell everyone else that it happened to be in the ruins, and she's going to claim it. Gear is claimed permanently per character, by the way, so it's not like we can swap that ring to anyone else. Now that Jonah has managed to go ahead and put it on her finger, um, yes, it's going to stay there forever until she replaces it with something else. So, <laughs> yeah, I think that was quite sneaky, but befitting of her. But all right, let's go ahead and carry on with our adventure, now scouting out Unland Forest to see what resources it has, and if there's anything that we need to do to help the people of the land. So far, I don't think any more... Ooh, River Dark. Oh, dear. That sounds a little threatening. Oh, the Deepest again! So, these Deepest are the ones that uh, raided our village. They're definitely the ones that Pame would be on the tail of. Also, one second, because we definitely want to go ahead 
And there. <laughs> Pomme is the leader. She should be at the top. <laughs> That's much better. Uh, but dark, river dark, huh? And this will give us spell, oh, it will, will give us spell thread and also ingots. And we need ingots if we're going to have strong weapons and also the deepest are here. So that's all we really need to know in order to go ahead and do what we can to try to re-secure the area and drive the deepest out. I bet these, this place has ingots because it's probably open to a ton of caves from the surrounding mountainsides. Why do deepest always have to be so deeply underground? Funny you should ask. Gillivan the Traveler wrote that. I love how Pame like has an answer. She probably is like the kind of leader who spends the whole time that they're traveling, like flipping through books and trying to educate herself about the geography, the history, the the tax history. <laughs> All of the minutia of the different places that they travel through. Hey, come check this out. What'd you find? I'm not sure. But whatever they are, they're blocking the way forward. Oh, that doesn't look good. I've not seen that before. They look like some sort of fungus or mushrooms. What's the problem? Some mushrooms are deadly. Look closer. Oh, there's just skulls. Okay. As they watch, a small creature scurries past them and into the cluster of fungi. Little friend, oh no, they burst. The the fungus burst. What's that smoke? I think it's spores. I don't know, back up. The cloud envelops the creature, which struggles briefly, then lies still. Uh, maybe we should go around? We don't have time. Who knows where those other tunnels lead? We saw the deepest go this way. We can't risk touching those puff balls. We would have been, we would have to be very careful. So Pame, uh, she, being one of the leaders, I think for roleplay sake, I might go with what she kind of hints at. So Jonah wants to go through them, 60% chance of that working. Uh, or Iviana, 80% chance of finding a different way. I think because Pame said like, we can't risk it. We're going to choose finding a different way. And Iviana is just going to set off and will, Jonah, not wanting to be alone fighting deepest, will stagger after them, kind of frustrated that they didn't let her try to go ahead and be in the lead. Death by Puffball? What kind of legacy is that? I think we should find another way. Come on, there's a side passage this way. This way does seem easier. An hour later. Uh-oh. Are we going in circles? I swear I've seen that stalactite twice already. How can you tell? It all looks the same. Oh no, Iviana. <laughs> I think she might be kind of... Again, she is clownish, and, and I, I could see how she could be a little bit... Um, not the deepest thinker. I'm joking. You need to learn to trust me. Very funny. Where? Shh. Look. I mean, she does have a pickaxe, so maybe we should trust the woman with the pickaxe in the cave. <laughs> the deepest, you found them. And they don't know we're here. Good job, Iviana. I'm sorry, I doubted you. Let's get them. Wow, Jonah was a lot more friendly to him than I thought they would be. Temporary accuracy, 7%. Jeez, that's a huge boost. And here we are, fighting against the deepest once more. There is a woken slinger, loading a sling and swinging it round. Panic rises in its slack face until the stone flies. And then there's the woken. A shuffling walk, gummy grunting mouth, heavy sword held firm. Not being, <gasps> and a water spirit. Oh my word. I want, oh no, 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 come back, come back. Okay, so the water spirits are one of the many elemental creatures that are scattered throughout the world that you have a chance of meeting as you venture forth to try to defeat whatever evil lurks. If you manage to catch them in time, they will give you a special elemental power to whatever you happen to have. Uh, you know who's kind of obsessed with special elemental powers? Our uh, elementalist. And her astral cherry rod is not currently blessed with any kind of enchanted element. So I could see her being very excited about that. And considering the fact she is normally pretty 
greedy about it, she'd absolutely jump forward. She absolutely would. Let's see. And meanwhile, not wanting to be left behind and not wanting to uh, let Jonah go forward, I think, especially because I think Rowan feels kind of responsible for trying to keep everybody safe since he's the only one with experience traveling at a party of heroes, I think he would run forward and he'd say, Jonah, no! And we're gonna say she opened the door. The water spirit! Oh my gosh, we can almost be the one to catch him! Should I let Rowan go forth? Oh, to try to catch him first? We can almost make it with him too. And Eviana, oh, okay, so Eviana, Pome is the leader, so I think she would definitely uh, run forward mostly to be like, careful! And she feels like really responsible with taking care of everyone. So we'll send her as far forward as we can. And then Eviana, I think, looks up to Palme. So we're gonna have her rush after her. Put our warriors at the front, even though they have a pickaxe and a rusty sword right now. And I think Rowan is going to use his silk step to try to like keep up with using his scouting skills. Silk Step allows you to slip into the shadows and be unseen, which, as you can imagine, is quite useful. Uh, what's not useful is not being able to catch the water spirit in time, which is, I think, yeah, Jonah, Jonah, she's gonna be very, very risky and try to rush after it. <gasps> no, don't go through another room! Ah, okay, and then I think Rowan would run after her again and be like, you need to be more careful. Oh my gosh, he could catch it. <gasps> I'm gonna let him do that. Do I wanna let him do that? I kinda do. I'm gonna let him do it. Because he could catch the spirit and we only have three turns left to catch the spirit. It's Otherwise it'll disappear. And uh, I could see how he doesn't see it at first and he'd be like, Jonah, careful. And he'd insist on trying to scout ahead without realizing she was chasing after <gasps> this little guy. Oh, so cute. Oh my gosh. It's all right, little one. But what a story you'll make. Oh, how fun. So now that we have caught the spirit, that's actually a lot harder than it sounds because usually they escape. <laughs> we can go ahead and gain its water element and we can actually replace the tier one water or the the bow that he has with a tier one water bow or if we wanted to have him be a hunter who was more about slipping through the shadows and using close combat instead of using the ranged attack from his archery we could have the dagger go ahead and become a water dagger or we could just get a legacy point which is quite useful if we know we need another resource of some kind or if we just don't really want to exchange whatever special weapon we currently have. However, I absolutely want a water bow. That sounds so cool. <gasps> Cute! Hello! Oh my gosh, the Grimbo! <laughs> I guess I was hoping it would have a different kind of name, uh, but we found the Grimbo. It's freaking beautiful, and it's going to give us the water element. <gasps> Stunt effect refunds an action point, so we could shoot again? Oh, so stunt is kind of like, uh, it's like a special chance you have of possibly doing like a, a bonus move of some kind. And refund an action point means that if we are able to pull the stunt off, which depending on how high your stunt ability is, you have a higher chance of that bonus action or a lower chance then we would be able to go ahead and basically move or shoot an arrow or do some other active action again with Rowan, which really fits him for, again, being somebody who has a lot of experience with this. So, oh, I can rename it. Oh, thank goodness. Wing Weaver. Ooh, but we're kind of underground right now. Is there anything? I'm so glad I can rename it. Dragon Arrow Thorn Song, Life Howl. Oh my goodness, maybe I'll come up. Bandit fell. <laughs> the Myth Seeker. Aww. That's kind of cute. You know what? Let's go with that one. Thank you, little water spirit. Woo! Oh, nice. I've caught all four of the element types now. But, you know, I won't, I won't tell anybody if you won't tell anybody. Because these guys have only met the water element. Elemental. All right. Meanwhile... 
the rest of our heroes struggle to catch up. And Jonah, I think, would absolutely be pouting about the fact that the water elemental that she, the elementalist, was going to actually go ahead and work with is gone. But I think Rowan is going to kind of roll his eyes and ignore her. And he's going to be the first to go ahead and explore deeper. So he's going to get himself in position to scout out what's going on over here. And then we'll have Jonah. Let's actually have Palme. Palme definitely would come up next to make sure that she could like start fighting and defending. And I think that they're going to see us once we get up here. So, you know, that works. That works fine. All right. So I think where is a good place to make a stand? Maybe a little bit closer. There we go. Aviana will rush after her, not wanting to be left behind when it comes to this battling. And by standing by her side and having the little shield that's walling, which means that they will have more protection from attacks than if they were just by themselves. And so now we're going to have Jonah rolling her eyes kind of join them. And that was so much movement we weren't able to do it. Oh, good job. Okay, we were able to dodge the slinger. And the Woken uh, are melee attackers, so they have to get up to stab you with their swords. And they're they're too slow for now. <laughs> you know who isn't too slow? Fame! Whoa! Good job, good job! Not bad for a rusty sword. Not to be shown up, though, we can go ahead and we can actually have Jonah fuse with this slab and show everyone how it's done and why she should have been the one allowed to go ahead and have that elemental because oh my gosh is she really gonna oh okay she just almost she killed one and almost killed another i could see how she is kind of pouting right now kind of like i told you guys oh and rowan i'm so sorry <laughs> he was going to take out this woken slinger but it, it dodged at least Iliana will get some experience that way. Ooh! I wonder why he went after, like, Rowan. That's so odd. Pome! Boom! Woo! Also, I can't believe the wolf call. That sounded so cool. <laughs> Woo! I'm so happy! I can't believe we found an elemental that is not as common as one might hope. And there's also an axe available called Bloodbreaker, a tier one axe that I think does five damage. It would reduce our accuracy a little bit rather than the old sword. And considering that Iliana did run in there and she was quite brave and that she has a pickaxe, we'll go ahead and we'll let her have it. Oh good, I can change its name again. Spine Tusk, the Emberwell, Ebon Clash, Souls here. Oh my gosh. Okay. I I don't wanna Okay, Moon Tusk. Eh. I mean, Moon Tusk actually sounds kinda cool. But we're like in the cave. And Cave Tusk doesn't have the same depth tusk. We'll go with depth tusk. Because we were in the depths. Oh dear, and now these guys have gotten stronger. They can they can stab us for more, like, ouch. <laughs> oh, but we can now go ahead and secure Inland Forest for the common folk, which will, as before, not only go ahead and provide resources at the end of the chapter and right now, but potentially help us find a shiny new item. So let's do it. Excellent. A thorough delving through the mysteries of River Dark has proven rewarding. Not exactly the most gripping part of the story, though. <laughs> Eviana really wants to do things that are super, like, noteworthy and dramatic, I'm noticing. <laughs> so now we get some ingots and spell thread from the very grateful people. And there is a necklace of grace, which will actually improve your dodge by five. Oh my goodness. Um, wow, okay, who do I, who do, you know, Iviana has the worst dodge right now? Actually, that would improve Pame's dodge a lot, but she does bonus damage right now, so 
Again, I think Jonah is going to start getting a little frustrated because even though she did get all of the early stuff, now everyone else is getting things too? Ugh, honestly. But there we go. We're up to nine of the legacy points. So if we so wished, we could return to our village to go ahead and possibly provide better weapons to some of our fighters if we feel the time has come to have something more than a tier zero old sword. Maybe the time has come. <laughs> Maybe that would be a very good idea. Uh, wow, ooh, great sword. Ooh, I've never actually tried a dueling sword either. Wow. Or I wonder if like maybe we'll decide we're like a great axe sort of fighter with Palme. But we'll have to see what kind of, I mean, she could also have a hammer, maybe a spear. Like there's quite a range of things that we could potentially do with her. But for now, I think we'll go ahead and we will send everybody back over to their village. And we'll figure out, now that we have secured River Dark and Art and Wind Works, the mountains securing them from trouble and danger otherwise, what is going on in the mainland? What's going on in the sprawling lowlands where we just might have to emerge from this little bastion of a valley between the mountains that the humans have occupied since escaping the Goblin Queen, and we might have to build a bridge through the mountain range so we can see what the wider world has to offer. But until next time, my friends, stay curious. Bye bye